What's up guys, Craig Mack here, Liberty Bell Beekeepers. In the shop this evening, and for the last week, for those of you that don't know, I did come down with COVID. I am tip top, and it lasted about 30 hours for me, so all good things there. But in the downtime I've had, if I want to call it that, been working in the shop trying to get myself organized again. I had a friend, former friend, unload their life here, and I've had a spent the last, I don't know, six or eight months slowly getting rid of a three-bedroom house's worth of stuff in my shop. So I've been able to free up a lot of space. I still got a lot of my own stuff going on here, projects that I've been work, worked on and old doors, glass, old cabinets, a lot of window sashes. My lighthouse, I built a few of those a couple years ago, but in the process, I freed up a bunch of this space over here in the back of my shop, headed towards the back door, and also next to the elevator. If none of you, if you haven't seen uh, my shop, I have an elevator that drops down to the shop floor and goes up through the roof so I can transport supers and hive bodies and boxes and bees that I bring home. I use uh, it's a 2,000 pound capacity winch, an overhead hoist, uh, single cable, it'll do a thousand pounds. This, this cart, this elevator car, I don't remember what it weighs, but it's uh, under a hundred pounds. And then I use the smaller supers mostly, the five frame supers to collect honey, although I do have eight and 10 frame equipment as well. Most of my work is done with these five frame supers. So I can load this elevator car up with a whole bunch of those. Um, generally, probably somewhere between 15 and 20. I'm, I, I don't have any reservations of, of carrying that much weight up and down on this thing. So. I don't use it just for honey supers and, and equipment, bees, what have you. But in the process of doing this as well, I had a, an overhead light up here, an old, uh, an old uh, high pressure sodium bulb that went bad. And I'm looking into replacing these overhead lights with LEDs anyway. But again, it's another, you know, to do three lights in here, it's like another 450 bucks to get the kind of lights that I would like to get. That'll last forever, but the initial expense is difficult. But anyway, there was an overhead light that went out there, so I'm taking that. You can probably see this shielded cable here, and there's an electrical outlet box connected to the end of it. It's all taped off and wired up, and this comes on with the other overhead lights. But I'm going to isolate that, and I'm going to take that wire up and across and go up through some conduit up to... The hoist upstairs so I can have an outlet up there to operate the uh, the hoist with but also have power on the roof uh, sometimes I'll use an electric blower if I'm working on clearing bees from supers uh, you know if I want to charge my phone uh, if I wanted to have some other kind of light up there uh, and I'm actually thinking about putting a sign uh, up there as well a lit sign so I needed to get some power up there, so I broke out the scaffolding. I got to get one more set on top of this, but I got to do a repair on my on my uh, on my uh, platforms here. I was gifted about eight sets of scaffolding. I have three in the shop here today. The other ones are still on the job site, uh, but I have to replace these. The plywood on some of this. I don't know if you can see, but it, the plywood's really bad shape. So, all in all, still worth it. A couple sheets of plywood for eight sets of scaffolding. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy about that. So I got it set up there so I can do some of the work. And as I said, I have to get another, another uh, platform at the top of this or transfer these up but I got to do the replacement work on that stuff first so that's what's been going on with my life and in the shop here now I always had plans on doing more with this area 
This here is this booth is uh, my kind of makeshift honey house. Uh, you know, I'm just storing stuff in here basically now. Storing buckets, my extractor, decapper, uh, decapping tank. Um, I, you know, hung a bunch of cabinets in here, and I actually think I'm going to break this down. Um, and reorganize my honey extraction once I free up a little bit more space out here. Uh, I'd like to eliminate all this shit. Just get rid of it. Uh, but I have some stuff here that's still of value to me. Some appliances and such that, you know, uh, you hold on to. Doesn't hurt to have an extra electric range laying around. <laughs> or an extra fridge. I got an extra fridge, which I could put to use, uh, you know, for comb or, or honey, honey frames or any of that kind of stuff. Although this building stays pretty cold, I can store and, and, and manage my drawn wax pretty well. Now, I had the mice problem, as you might have seen some of my earlier videos, and they got to some of my drawn wax. Fortunately, a lot of that was foundationless uh, supers, super frames, medium frames. So I don't care. I, I was looking to get rid of those anyway. I like to do foundation in my honey supers because it just makes it so much easier to extract and do all the work to the frames that you got to do with them, having that back or the foundation. I go foundationless in the brew chambers, but all my, all my medium frames are all mostly foundation, although I got a bunch of old frames too that I run foundationless. I'll use for swarm traps and what have you. That's what I've been doing. Cleaning and organizing. Got swarm traps. 10 ready here. I got five or six still outside in various locations. I got about, uh, I don't know, 25 or 30 nuke boxes. I got uh, 20 or 30 medium supers. I got my 10 new 10 frame equipment that I built, some 10 frame boxes, eight frames. So I'm pretty stacked up. I got a bunch of frames built. I got about 400 that are just sitting uh, unassembled. So I will be getting into all that kind of stuff over the next few weeks and just getting all my supplies really, really in order for spring. There we are, cleaning house, making use of my free time. Thanks guys, take it easy.